Hi everyone, I previously made a video about how USB cable quality will affect the charge rates of your cell phone or your power bank or whatever else you're trying to charge. Today I want to show you how your charger can also make an effect. Now a lot of people know this, but a lot of people don't as well. And then they say to me, I've been charging my power bank and it's taking two days to charge, what's the deal? So hopefully this video will help people with that. Now you probably already noticed these five boxes here. These are the TronSmart Quick Charge 3.0 USB chargers, and you can see one of them here. Let me unplug it so you can have a closer look. So here it is, it's a pretty compact charger, one USB port, but the most important thing is it has Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0, which means if your device also supports that, it's gonna charge super fast. Now TronSmart has been brought to the country by Cosmic Technologies, and that's the parent company of Cherry Mobile. So my thanks goes to Kester at Cosmic Technologies for hooking us up with these for an upcoming giveaway. So what do we have here? Well, the first charger is from a super cheap cell phone and it only charges at half an amp. Then I have an iPhone charger, which charges at one amp. I have an Amazon charger, which I believe is 1.8 amp. A UE Boom charger, which I think is around two amp or maybe a little bit higher. And then this new TronSmart charger, which I've actually managed to get 23 watts out of and varying voltages because it's Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. So the basic idea is that we're gonna try and charge this power bank from each of these different chargers and then see how fast it charges. Now, one thing I've heard people say is, I don't wanna use a really high output charger on my cell phone because it's only rated for one amp or something like that. Well, your device will decide how much power to draw. It doesn't matter. You could connect it to a 100 amp charger, but your device is still only gonna charge the maximum of what it can handle. So you don't have to worry about having a charger that's too powerful. There's no such thing as a charger that's too powerful. So let's plug in my USB watt meter and test each of these chargers and get an idea of how long it would take to charge this thing. And for anyone who's curious, inside the TronSmart box, you get this really high quality USB cable, which I'm using here, and then the charger itself. So we'll start with this charger here, which is the lowest output of all of them. Let's see how much power this is putting into the power bank. 1.4 watts. That's extremely low. That means it's gonna take a very, very, very long time to charge this power bank. Let's now move on to the iPhone charger. Again, let's zoom in on the watt meter. And you can see this one is pushing in around five watts, which is better, but for a power bank this big, it's still gonna take way too long. Let's move on to the Amazon charger. Let's zoom in. Okay, this one's a bit better. We're pushing in around 6.7 watts. Not that much better, but a little bit better. Let's move on to the UE Boom charger, which is a portable Bluetooth speaker. And again, we're only drawing around 6.5 watts. Not a huge amount, to be honest, kind of disappointing. I expected a bit more because apparently this charger can output up to two amp. And last but not least, let's plug into the TronSmart. Now, this can not only output a high current, but it can also do higher voltages because it supports Qualcomm Quick Charge, and so does my power bank. So let's zoom in on this. And it starts off kind of slow, 10 watts, 14 watts, but give it a second to negotiate with the power bank because these two are actually talking to each other and working out what the highest charge rate they can handle. So I just give it, you know, 30 seconds to negotiate and then see what it gets up to. And there you go, it's settled on 7.5 volts, 2.9 amp, around 22 watts. So we've gone all the way from around one and a half, two watts, up to 22 watts. So that is 10 times faster. We're charging this power bank 10 times faster by using a better quality charger. Now, like I said, this charger actually supports Qualcomm Quick Charge, which means we can go to those crazy high rates. But likewise, you could use it on a power bank that doesn't support Quick Charge, and you're at least still gonna get a high current out of it. So although that was only testing using one device and that device had a bit of a boost by the fact that it supports Qualcomm Quick Charge, it gives you an idea of what you're looking for. If you have a very slow charger which can only output say half an amp, it's gonna take much, much, much longer to charge your phone or your power bank than a bigger charger which can output say two amp or something like that. So when you're picking a charger, make sure you choose a high capacity one. Even if your cell phone can only take say one amp, still go for the two amp option because you never know when you might buy a power bank that supports two amp or when you might upgrade in the future. If you charge it with a low output charger, it's gonna take a long time to charge. 
Now I know that sounds really obvious, but there are still so many people out there that ask me every day, how come my phone takes so long to charge? How come my power bank takes two days to charge? And that's usually the problem. They're using a low output charger and they need to get a better one. So I hope this helps some people out there. If you're interested in these chargers, stay tuned to the channel because we are gonna have a giveaway soon, a very big giveaway that's gonna include these chargers from Tronsmart. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.